capital punishment was abolished in Virginia on March 24, 2021, when Governor Ralph Northam signed a bill into law. The law took effect on July 1, 2021. Virginia is the 23rd state to abolish the death penalty, and the first southern state in United States history to do so. The first execution in what would become the United States was carried out in Jamestown, Virginia, in 1608, when Captain George Kendall was executed in Jamestown for spying. Since then, Virginia has executed more than 1,300 people, the most of any other state. In the modern, post-Greg era, Virginia conducted 113 executions, the second most in the country, behind only Texas. The last execution in the state was in July 2017, when William Morva was executed via lethal injection for murder. In February 2021, the Virginia General Assembly voted to abolish the death penalty and Governor Ralph Northam signed the bill into law on March 24, 2021. The bill took effect on July 1, 2021. Only two people were on death row in Virginia at the time of the abolition, Anthony Juniper and Thomas A. Porter. Their sentences were commuted to life without parole. The last execution in Virginia occurred in July 2017, when William Morva was executed for two murders he committed in 2006. The daughter of one of his victims supported the bill to end capital punishment, calling the practice outdated, ineffective, and failing to provide her any closure. The last person to be executed in the Virginia electric chair was Robert Gleason, on January 16, 2013. Gleason was serving life in prison for the 2007 fatal shooting of Michael Kent Jamerson in Amherst County. The murder was committed to cover up his involvement in a drug gang. In 2009, he became frustrated with prison officials because they refused to move out his new mentally disturbed soulmate. Gleason hogtied, beat and strangled, 63-year-old Harvey Watson Jr. who was also serving time for murder. Gleason pled guilty. Both in court and in media interviews, Gleason vowed to continue killing if not given the death penalty. While awaiting sentencing at a highly secure prison for the state's most dangerous inmates, Gleason strangled 26-year-old Aaron Cooper through wire fencing that separated their individual cages in a recreation yard in 2010. Gleason again pled guilty, waived appeals, and got his wish after choosing the electric chair over lethal injection. On May 8, 2007, Robert Charles Gleason, Jr. fatally shot Michael Kent Jamerson to death off of Virginia 130 in West Herm Amherst County, Virginia. A turkey hunter found his body in a wooded area. He was shot four times, twice to the head and twice to the body. The murder weapon was found on the banks of the James River by a college student who was fishing there. Gleason was part of a methamphetamine drug ring and believed that Jamerson was going to cooperate with the government against the ring. At trial, Gleason burst out with a string of profanities, denouncing the court and was removed. Shortly thereafter, he told the judge he wanted to just get this over with today and pled guilty to the murder. Two years to the day after the Jamerson murder, Harvey Watson was murdered at Wallens Ridge State Prison. His cellmate, Gleason, was serving a life plus three years sentence for the Jamerson murder and was charged with the willful, deliberate, 
and premeditated killing of any person by a prisoner confined in a state or local correctional facility, a capital offense. On December 21, 2010, following an evaluation to confirm his competency, Gleason pled guilty to the murder of Watson in the Circuit Court of Wise County. Gleason confessed under oath, stating that he planned the murder to occur on the two-year anniversary of a previous homicide that he had committed. In 1983, Gleason admitted to binding Watson with torn bedsheets, beating him, taunting him about his impending death, shoving a urine sponge in his face and a sock in his mouth, and finally strangling him with fabric from the sheet. According to Gleason, he concealed the body in his cell for 15 hours, making excuses for Watson's failure to emerge. Gleason further stated that he planned, once rigor mortis had passed, to dispose of the body in the garbage that was circulated to pick up food trays. Gleason was unsuccessful in disposing of the body before Watson was discovered by prison personnel. Throughout the circuit court proceedings, Gleason consistently repeated that he had no remorse. Rather, knowing that the premeditated murder of an inmate and more than one murder within a three-year period was punishable by the death penalty in Virginia. He commented to the court that he already had a few other inmates lined up, just in case I didn't get the death penalty, that I was gonna take out. Following Watson's death, Gleason had been moved to solitary confinement in Virginia's Supermax Red Onion Prison. On July 28, 2010, Gleason was in a solitary recreation pen that shared a common wire fence with that of Aaron Cooper. Gleason asked Cooper to try on a religious necklace that Gleason was making. Gleason proceeded to strangle Cooper through the wire fence, repeatedly choking Cooper till he turned purple, waiting until his color came back then going back again until Cooper finally expired. Gleason described himself laughing at the reaction of the other inmates. He then watched and mocked the prison staff attempting to revive Cooper. Cooper was serving a 34-year sentence for carjacking and robbery. Gleason was charged in the capital murder of Cooper for the willful, deliberate, and premeditated killing of more than one person within a three-year period. On April 22, 2011, Gleason pled guilty to the murder of Cooper. He informed the court that he had deliberately targeted Cooper so as to make a point to the prosecutor and as a favor to another inmate who was to be released soon, so that the inmate would owe Gleason and Gleason would then have someone outside the prison to do his bidding. After accepting both guilty pleas, the court conducted a multi-day joint sentencing proceeding, considering evidence and argument by counsel and Gleason. The court also reviewed a pre-sentence report, Gleason having waived a post-sentence report. The court fixed Gleason's sentences at death finding the aggravating factors of both vileness and future dangerousness in both cases beyond a reasonable doubt, and concluding that these factors were not outweighed by mitigating facts. In affirming Gleason's sentences of death under your charges, the Circuit Court of Wise County conducted a joint, multi-day sentencing hearing, Gleason represented himself at the hearing with the assistance of standby counsel. On September 6, 2011, after considering the evidence and argument presented by counsel and Gleason, the circuit court sentenced Gleason to death for both murders, finding that the aggravating factors of vileness and future dangerousness had been proven beyond a reasonable doubt. While his cases were before the circuit court, 
Gleason filed a document expressing his desire to waive all right of appeal in all of these cases, and specifically and emphatically request that no one, attorney or otherwise, file any appeal on his behalf in any of these cases. Lee D. Higgin, the psychologist appointed to evaluate Gleason on the defense's motion prior to sentencing, was also appointed to determine whether Gleason possessed the capacity to waive his right to appeal his death sentences. The court will hereinafter refer to the joint appendix filed on direct appeal as J.A. His wishes came through, Gleason was executed by electric chair at Greensville Correctional Center in Jarrett, Virginia, on January 16, 2013, at 9.08 p.m. He was the first person executed in the United States in 2013. His last words were purportedly well, I hope Percy ain't going to forget to wet the sponge. Put me on the highway to Jackson, and call my Irish buddies. Pogmothoin. God bless. The phrase Pogmothoin, is translated from Irish as kiss my arse. His execution was the first to be carried out by electric chair since the March 2010 execution of Paul Warner Powell, also in Virginia. Gleason stands as the most recent person to die in the Virginia electric chair. The last person to die in the electric chair in any jurisdiction for almost six years until the November 2018 execution of Edmund Zagorski in Tennessee and the most recent person executed by electrocution in a jurisdiction other than the state of Tennessee. Thank you for watching.